Welcome to today's lecture. We will continue our discussion on the uh, different types of computer uh, programs, packages for use for fluid inclusion work. And uh, in the last class, we were discussing about the Flynn core package. And uh, I, uh, I think still some people would be uh, using this particular package of Flynn core, which was later. Uh, implemented on a Mac uh, platform and was renamed as Mac Flynn Core and uh, was published and uh, well was also distributed and it only required a uh, Macintosh operating system for the use of this particular software and they implemented some more features like uh, uh, calculation of the myth and mole percent from the graphical uh, from the graphs that were uh, discussed before intersection of the carbon dioxide melting temperature and the partial homogenization of, car of the homogenization of the carbonic uh, flu uh, carbonic phase. And, uh, but then Mac Flincore also uh, had that limitation that at any point of time only one particular uh, inclusion data could be processed. And then over the past uh, one and a half decade, uh, there are lots of computer programs codes uh, on non graphical as well as graphical user interface mode being written and published and available freely distributed by Ronald J. Backer in the University of Leoben and uh, as has been given here this uh, link for this website. Anyone can visit, anyone can see this website and can get the computer codes that are written by Ronald Backer. So, those computer codes were named in the series of loner series or the fluids package fluids, a QSO kind of uh, packages, the programs which were uh, written by this author. So, these uh, packages were only it is essentially the in an exhaustive manner with all available formulations on, on different fluid uh, species, fluid mixtures, water with electrolytes, with, uh, with or without the gases, only the gases like carbon dioxide, methane, carbon monoxide, water, H2A, SO2, so on, hydrogen and so on and so forth. So, all these, so with the, uh, over, the over the period of time, there has been uh, many uh, workers who have been publishing on the refinement of PVTX relationships on this kind of uh, fluid mixtures, either any but any subsystem of the uh, fluid that I am talking about, either a pure carbon dioxide or a carbon dioxide methane, or carbon dioxide plus methane plus H2S and other sulfurous species, or nitrogen, argon, and so on. So, uh, the literature on the PVTX relationships in fluids with or without electrolytes. So, it also involves the complete range of electrolyte species that we encounter in uh, in crustal fluids in natural environment. So, this series of software packages like loner or fluids or AQSO, they all implemented those uh, formulations and they are written on, graph on both graphical user interface as well as non-graphical user interface. And uh, anyone who will be using like the exactly the way you have seen in the like what was happening in the Flinker package, the user always will be prompted to furnish the data from his raw microthermometric observations. Often we will you will see that it is prompting for data to be given in volume percent and such volume percent calculations are made from visual estimation, which I have from my experience which, which I have said I say that such visual estimation will always give you uh, erroneous value, but then sometimes they become a better option or the only option that is available if to calculate the, uh, the volumetric properties. And in addition to what uh, this, this particular software package is being uh, able to they give the output parameters for any fluid inclusion raw fluid inclusion microthermometric data, they also can be used for computation of the other thermodynamic parameters like fugacity coefficients uh, etcetera from the fluid inclusion data. 
So, uh, the participants of this course can always see this particular uh, can visit this website and uh, see look at the computer codes run them and can get a feel of them. I am not uh, using any such uh, demonstration of those particular packages here. Uh, anyone can uh, because these days those uh, computer codes that uh, uh, Ronald J. Backer has uh, developed and uh, and is uh, distributing very generously uh, all across. They will uh, be running on any desktop with either a, with a presently available Windows environment. They are compatible to whatever uh, because they are available as executable codes. The source codes are not available. The executable codes can be run if it is a they uh, either a Macintosh machine or a Windows machine and one can get a feel of uh, the data that, that are prompted to be given as input for the ma raw micro thermometric data. Uh, one mention also could be made about this uh, recently de uh, released uh, recently developed uh, excel spreadsheet based computer program uh, which is hockey flings uh, water and SL, which implements the minimum pressure of estimation from uh, halide dissolution temperature and it is a package complete package on H 2 NaCl KCl from the uh, dissolution temperature of NaCl and KCl to give the volumetric uh, property of the fluid in terms of density and uh, this also is available this uh, reference will be given. Now, uh, I will I would like to share uh, some of my own ideas and the efforts that I have made in developing computer programs GUI based pro pro computer program or software for use for fluid inclusion uh, work. Now, uh, this, uh, this uh, table that I have given here is essentially is an, is an idea that the first of all the requirement of a fluid inclusionist I will talk about a the requirement of a fluid inclusionist presuming that uh, the fluid inclusionist is not an expert in computers or he is not writing his own code. Those who can write their own codes or enjoy doing or writing their own codes and programs for their own work, uh, they definitely uh, would always do that. But those who would always like to uh, have something available to use for their fluid in for analysis of their fluid inclusion data, it will be more useful for them. Now, here the parameters TFM is temperature of first melting which corresponds to the eutectic temperature in a binary or a ternary whatever may be the system. The temperature of hydrohalite melting which sometimes is often uh, you one can note observe very uh, if uh, carefully uh, by distinguishing from ice and hydrohalite as we have discussed. This is the temperature of melting of last ice. Temperature of liquid vapor homogenization, we can, one can always also put another parameter here whether the homogenization was to liquid or vapor. Temperature of dissolution of NaCl, temperature of dissolution of KCl or even if there is any other uh, phase that is there. Temperature of melting of carbon, carbon dioxide, temperature of melting of clathrate, temperature of homogenization of CO2, then mode of this CO2 homogenization any mole fraction of methane that could be measured by the intersection of the uh, carbon dioxide melting and the homogenization temperature or independently estimated from microanalytical method like uh, Raman spectrometry and then the temperature of total homogenization for mixed aqueous carbonic inclusion. Now, these kind of parameters or any other that one can always have this is all about this is all that the data that is acquired in a in a routine microthermometric experiments. The one which are here FM, THH, TM, THLV and TD, NACL, TD, KCL are for aqueous inclusions and TMCO2, THCO2 will be for pure carbonic inclusion with methane with, with or without methane and then TMCO2, TM clathrate and temperature of homogenization carbon dioxide and temperature of total homogenization would essentially mean that you are in a aqueous carbonic system. So, the whole the idea here is that instead of the user specifying or to 
specifying the uh, program that what system its inclusion belongs to, the system itself can be very well decided based on what microthermometric data one uh, has given. For example, if someone is giving a TFM and a THH and TM THLV. So, this when the when these data are provided then the system is automatically is coming out to be an H 2 NaCl system. That means, if in a if we think that we are working on and here we also have to take into consideration that what a, com, a general uh, um, uh, 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 user of a computer a low level user of a computer is essentially familiar with a situation like an excel spreadsheet where the data can be entered on different fields. So, if these are the data these are the columns on which data are entered then the system is automatically uh, de is decided that it is just to NSL. And then it becomes also difficult if uh, to choose between set of equations rather it should be the, the set of or the, the formulation which gives the best uh, result or the most appropriate one within the uh, covering a wider uh, range of the temperature and salinity. So, then I uh, and then depending on if uh, temperature of uh, dissolution of uh, NaCl suppose the data which are entered is temperature of dissolution of NaCl and temperature of homogenization that also decides that the system is a NaCl H2 system. If it is uh, TD NaCl, TD KCl and TH so it is a NaCl KCl H2 system. If there are data which are Uh, this actually this logic is absolutely uh, developed here itself. If uh, there is a user which is giving the data for TMCO2 and THCO2 only, then it is definitely is a pure CO2. And the equation that is going to be used here uh, is the one. So, because the fluid inclusion is always will have a quandary as to what which equation to use if he is not very familiar with the recent development of the PVTF relationships and which inclusion which formulation to use this gives a very uh, on at least it takes away that much of uh, moderation that is yes, the, the equation the system is chosen and the most appropriate equation to use for a volumetric calculation is also decided. Similarly, so if there is TMCO2, THCO2 and also XCH4 put here as one of the the three columns which are filled up then it is an H 2 O sorry it is a if it is uh, if it is T H uh, T M C O 2 and T H C O 2 and X C H 4 then the system is C O 2 C H 4. So, likewise this uh, because here it is not a very exhaustive list, but it is just for it for the sake of example. And it demonstrates that yes, if uh, depending on what the data the input is giving the raw microthermometric data input which is given and the uh, whole idea is if the the requirement is that a standard user a fluid inclusionist would uh, during his course of his work would have acquired input data on all these types of inclusions, there could be an aqueous inclusion, aqueous uh, polyphase inclusion, carbonic inclusion, aqueous carbonic inclusion and so on. So, uh, in, a, in a particular project in a, in a work uh, there will be a data for all these types of inclusions and it will always be useful if there is one excel spreadsheet which could be uh, where the all the types of data could be entered then all data could be processed at the same time. So, this uh, is the logic behind. Uh, so, this could be if that is uh, what is the basic logic of development of any software package it takes into account the requirement that all the types of data acquired by the uh, by a person who is doing the fluid inclusion microthermometry are 
entered or transferred or these days there are some uh, software uh, which are also available uh, interfaced with the fluid inclusion heating freezing system where the temperature uh, could possibly be recorded with the values of the phase changes could be recorded and in such kind of a system which I, I might myself I have not worked on that the data could be transferred into a excel kind of a spreadsheet here. And then one can always go on to uh, process the data. I will just uh, like to give a little bit of a demo on. So, this is an example of what uh, this, this particular package is uh, what is written here is Flink was developed you, you know, on a Microsoft uh, Windows based uh, program and using the Microsoft foundation class library, the MFC library which actually uh, after the Microsoft foundation li class library came up, then it became much easier to develop this kind of uh, uh, user in gra graphical user interface uh, programs of the packages. So, what is what you could see here that this particular program was designed uh, in generating uh, Excel, Excel kind of a sheet. So, what you could see here that this is the D vapor, temperature of fast melting, temperature of hydrohalite melting, temperature of last ice melting, temperature of melting of CO2, temperature of melting of cloth rate, temperature of liquid vapor homogenization and then mode to either liquid or vapor, temperature of uh, CO2 melting and liquid again to liquid or vapor temperature of dissolution of NaCl, temperature of dissolution of KCl, TH total. So, these and XCH4. So, uh, what is essential here is that these uh, many number of parameters are the ones which are the input parameters. So, once the input parameters are given, what are the possible output parameters that one would expect? It could be the sal first is salinity, then the system, the density, and certain parameter which was at that time also thought to be important is the vapor by vapor plus liquid ratio. So, say for example, if uh, if I just enter a value for a uh, vapor and then diameter of the vapor and then temperature of fast melting and the temperature of hydrohalite melting, I will just give you some example temperature of last ice melting suppose I put 10.0 and here uh, as per the formulation the temperature of the depression of the freezing point even though we know it is uh, value is in negative uh, the formula has been uh, the equation has been formulated taking the parameter as positive and then comes the TH liquid vapor and this is 200 suppose I put 200 degrees and uh, liquid and then here if I just say click of the mouse say update sheet then as you could see here that automatically that the system is NaCl H 2 that is coming out is the one of the output field. So, these many outputs so we can have many more these output field are added up are added to the input parameter that are given here and this is the salinity and the density which are calculated. Now, the user who is using this uh, does not have to decide which state equation of state is being used for calculation of density or which equation of equation which is being used for the calculation of the uh, ISO core. And so, now uh, this is just one uh, small example and suppose from this particular. Uh, so, what is the requirement? We take into account the essential requirement for the uh, fluid inclusionist that he would like to uh, generate the, uh, the plots in terms of the bivariate temperature salinity plot, ISO core and the histogram. So, suppose uh, this is per this particular data which has been entered for that the ISO core needs to be calculated and here the option of ISO core and then this is from the sheet 1 and the row 1 and uh, 
it gives. So, what, what exactly it is doing? It is using the very basic utilities of uh, whatever is available that could be generated through the Microsoft Foundation class library for different types of graphics primitives using the, uh, uh, the editable boxes, the, di the uh, drop down menu like the one which is seen, seen here and suppose I put next and as a new chart and then I could give what is the temperature pressure temperature range in which the isoco has to be put. Suppose I put up to 800 degree Celsius and then say ok, so the isoco is plotted here. And uh, so, this was this is uh, the, the whole idea whole uh, idea of presenting this is uh, just to give you a feeling at, uh, 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 that how or what logic could possibly be developed in designing or in uh, having this kind of the software which will be on one particular uh, workspace will be able to uh, give you the entire uh, requirement. So, I will just uh, give it another demonstration by. So, there are all basic utilities which could be incorporated here uh, like for example, I can delete this particular chart if I am not happy with that or I can generate many such graphs and uh, I would just like to Okay. So, this is a situation where I have already filled this uh, box up with data. Yeah, another utility of uh, this kind of uh, situation here is that uh, the Excel worksheet a, gen a general user is very much familiar with working on Excel like worksheet and it should have the provision for adding the number of uh, rows because if the fluid inclusion is has generated data in hundreds and uh, the uh, there should be scope for uh, entering or giving the input of the entire data set whatever has been generated. And uh, now, suppose uh, this, uh, this is a set of data which was generated on all aqueous inclusion and the basic data that was given is the temperature of melting of ice, temperature of liquid vapor homogenization, all homogenization to liquid and then we could see that I have just for the sake of demonstration given the same value of a diameter of the vapor phase that is measured at 25 degrees Celsius and the temperature of fast melting, temperature of hydrohalite melting and uh, which is uh, I have not taken into consideration here. So, suppose for example, somebody wants to uh, you want to draw a histogram. So, it could be so which I among these are the uh, when it takes into account the plotting of this uh, data, it could be any of the input parameter as well as the output. For example, a temperature of homogenization is an input parameter and density is an output parameter. One can always take uh, the data for plotting of I any of them. Say for example, I will choose a temperature of homogenization uh, THLV to plot a histogram. And, uh, So, I can I can get the and these are the essentially editable uh, I just put the range between 100 and 200 and see class interval is chosen by by its own with given the uh, logic for the development of the uh, they were taking the particular class interval and then so this gives a uh, histogram which the fluid inclusionist would like to uh, put it as a final result and presentation of his data. For example, I would like to And let us say that we want to have a scatter graph. So, in the scatter graph, we it will definitely take because there are 
uh, in such kind of uh, packages the provisions have been made to use more than one worksheet like what happens in an excel worksheet and uh, this takes the x column as the salinity and the y column as the temperature of liquid vapor homogenization and it plots So, we get our theta and here we can change the maximum and minimum in the to get a better picture. And so here, so these will always have an utility of editing this particular uh, graph for putting the legends even more prominent, these uh, data points or any kind of font and any, uh, any kind of uh, decoration that one would like to do to the graph can be easily done by using the basic utility. So, this is one uh, example of, this is one example of uh, uh, a software package which will which has been uh, which can be developed for uh, it can be told as a uh, as a platform which will uh, which will be the, which will take into consideration the need of a fluid inclusionist where on one uh, spreadsheet kind of a uh, workspace all the all the types of data could be uh, generated could be entered and then all possible outcome uh, the uh, expected outcome in terms of the uh, isocore, the scatter graph, the histograms for all the uh, input and the calculated parameters can be generated. So, that will uh, that, that would be a uh, towards I mean like it sort of a kind of if we want a software package which will be a, uh, a single platform software packages which will not make one to run around to generate data in one particular output and then take and plot. For example, one can always export the data and then use uh, scientific graphics software packages like microcal origin to plot the data in a bivariate or kind of histogram or there are possibly uh, more specialized, but then it is also possible by using the basic functionalities of uh, the available uh, uh, the tools that one can always use to develop such kind of softwares for the use of fluid inclusion work. So, we will continue uh, discussing in the next class. Thank you.